Hi, my name is Steve Wischke. I'm a senior service engineer for Modine Manufacturing. Today we will cover troubleshooting a run capacitor on a Modine geothermal heat pump. In order to test the run capacitor, we'll use a multimeter set to the resistance function. And the, the important key to this is to make sure that power is disconnected from the unit. I've already done so, checking to make sure there's no voltage between L1 and L2. Since I've done that, I can continue on to test the run capacitor. The very first step would be to make sure that the capacitor is discharged. Whenever these two leads are connected to the capacitor, it will automatically discharge the capacitor through the compressor windings. I've already disconnected them and I will do a test. As I was saying, the meter is set to resistance. You'll see that when I connect the two leads, the resistance will slowly climb. What's happening is the battery within the meter itself is charging the capacitor. If the capacitor was defective, you would not see the resistance climb. Once it reaches full capacitance, it will actually stop. That's why every time you do the test, you want to make sure that the capacitor is discharged using the leads. Another way to test for a defective capacitor is to use a meter that has capacitance function. We set the meter to the capacitance and we simply measure to see what the capacitance reading is. Here we have 40 microfarads and we would compare what the label is. We see here we've got a 40 microfarad capacitor. It matches the reading so we know that this is not a defective capacitor. In a situation where you do have a defective capacitor what happens is the compressor will not start. It'll just simply hum. You would not want to replace the compressor if uh, the capacitor was defective, so you always want to make sure you do a defective capacitor test before replacing the compressor. For further information, you can go to www.modinehvac.com.